Hello, everybody, and welcome to Step by Step, the podcast. I am the host of Step by Step, the podcast, Chris McCarthy, and we're here for another episode of the show, and it's a very special episode. It is episode 55, which is a special number because it's two of the same number, but also... Something I can't drive. You can't... Oh, and, and and who are you, sir? The co-host, Rob Hattie. Sammy Hagar. Oh. oh. That would have been better. Yeah. But, but who are you, really? Rob Haddon. Rob Haddon, of course, the co-host. I remember you. It's been a couple of weeks. It has, but you're back, and I'm back. And But it is, so 55 is a great number for an episode, and also for if you like to obey the laws of traffic, there's no better number than that. But... It's also our two-year anniversary show, which is very special because no one even thought we would be here this long. I can tell you I never thought that we'd make it this long. No one no one did, and including you and me. Our wives. Definitely not them. Our kids. They were not believing in us. My parents. Oh, your parents know about this? Yeah. Yeah, and they told you that you would fail? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's kind of what they told me my entire life from the time mm-hmm. that I was born all the way up until now. Is so you that, just assume gonna make it. that applied to this as well? Uh, yeah, but no, they told me personally. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't tell my parents about anything I do. I have a very disapproving Jewish mother. It's kind of mm-hmm. how that works. Yeah. Great. So we are at... So you could probably tell by some of the sounds you're hearing that uh, we're not in the studio. It's not a soundproof room like we're usually in. There's some, you know, some... Uh, glasses clanking and some, you know, romantic music playing. Yeah, some uh, indecipherable talk just around us, just kind of some murmur. chatter. Yeah. And I would call it almost ambient uh, noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would definitely call it ambient noise. Like if you wanted to, like, you know, Google some ambient noise. Yeah. If you want to use it in some kind of recording you're doing, right? Like I mean, if you were to Google or you or go to YouTube and yeah. type in like ambient restaurant noise. Sound effects, <laughs> guys. I'm, um, hey, guys. I'm sorry. I'll be right oh. back. I'll be with you in one second. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Okay. And that, so that was the waiter. We're at a restaurant, and we're here. It's a special. Um, I did I say why it was so special? It's our two year anniversary. Two year anniversary. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Forget it. We're at the restaurant, and the it's a fancy restaurant. It's one of the nicest restaurants I've ever been to. The fanciest restaurant I have ever been to. Yes. It's called Denny's. It is Denny's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they said they were America's diner, but I've, I've. Hey guys, I'm sorry. I didn't realize oh, you guys didn't have waters. I'll grab you some waters. I'll come right back. Okay, that'd be great. Thank you. That would be great. But we do have. I I have a water already, and so do you, Rob. I do. I have two of them already. Actually, you have two waters. Well, the bus boy you. came by, and then the other bus boy came by and gave me waters. Yeah. Okay. Well. Th- okay. So the waiter. Uh, there's a waiter here, and he's taught. We have three microphones set up at our table at the restaurant, and. The waiter came over. He apparently doesn't realize that we're recording a podcast, or maybe he does, but he's talked right into the microphone, which was, I guess, okay. It's fine. I had it uh, set up just in case. Like We invited a few guests to come on the show for the two-year anniversary. I invited Patrick Duffy. You invited Suzanne Summers. I did. I invited Dana. You invited Brendan. These you are all people. Al. Yeah, these are all yep. people from Step by Step. Did anyone invite Scott Step? I thought you were going to invite. Oh, I thought you were going to invite Scott Fuck. Stab. Fuck. He, 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 oh. You know what? I bet you he would have come. He would have. Of course. Now he can't. It's too late. I mean, there's always next year. But uh, so this is Step by Step, the podcast where we talk about the show Step by Step. We talk about Scott Stapp, the singer of Creed and the writer of every Creed song. And all of those songs correspond to very specific episodes of Step by Step is what we have found in the last two years of study. And proven. We've been proving it every two weeks on the show here, and but we even though we've proved it from the jump, we're gonna. Hey keep guys, proving. here's your water. Okay, um, I'm sorry, I just gotta go take care of them, and then I'll be right back to take your order. That's cool. Could we have menus? Actually, menus would be great. He, he's, he's gone. gone. He's, he's gone. gone. Yeah. He's gone. All right, that's okay. So um, 
you, so you may be interrupted a little bit, but Rob and I, we figured we would celebrate the show uh, marking two years by going out to a nice dinner. And so Rob suggested this place called Denny's, and here we are. I've never been, and I mean, they run so many commercials. Yeah. And it just really seems like a really classy place to, to it go is. out and celebrate. Yeah, I love the carpeting and how many different colors it is. I do. I, I love all the little squiggles in the carpet mm-hmm. of kind of like neon colors. Yeah, and, I love yeah. There's a lot of things about this carpet I'm digging. And that's, I, a, that's how I pick my restaurants. Is I mean, yeah. It's really, what's the carpet look like? I got to see those interior photos. Oh, yeah. Don't even get me started on the lights. Anyway, we are at this restaurant to celebrate the, sh- the show uh, turning two. And we figured we would bring all the podcast stuff and record and do a real episode. So, like, we watched in the car on the way here. We watched an episode of Step by Step. Uh, It's the one where Frank and Carol, believe it or not, have an anniversary. Their second anniversary. What are the odds, Rob? There is no way we could have actually planned this. No, there's no way. doing this two years ago. We were like, hey, two years, we'll get to do an anniversary on their anniversary. Mm -hmm. That would have been insane, and we didn't. Hey, guys, really sorry about that. Hi. Um, It's just crazy tonight, so I apologize. Uh, Do you guys know what you want? We didn't get a menu yet. Is that true? That is true. I I asked you before. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. I thought I dropped them off when I brought you guys the waters. No, you didn't. No, as you walked away, I said, hey, can we get some menus? And then you just kind of like put your hand up and kept walking. Oh, all right. Sorry. I'll go grab your uh, menus. And do you need more water? No, we okay. haven't drank the two we have. Okay, so I'll go grab the menus and a couple more waters and I'll be right back. Great. Could I have an iced tea? Sure. No, you're I, listening to that I, have, I have no faith that you're going to get an iced yeah. tea. We'll, by we'll the way. see. He seemed confused as to what a menu is. I'm a little... <laughs> Concern. Well, I, hear the th- I mean, at Denny's, I feel like everyone knows the menu, right? Oh, he's, a diner got menu he's got it memorized. He assumes we have it memorized. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Well, so um, I guess he'll come back. So we are doing the show at a restaurant, and it's uh, it's a... Uh, what did they say? We're going to talk about that episode where it's their anniversary, right? Right, right. How, how kind of odd and but serendipitous mm-hmm. it is that yeah. here we are celebrating our anniversary with... Frank and Carol. We are, and it's, uh, but also... Hey, guys, here are your so, menus. Oh. I'll come right back in a minute to take your order. I just want to give you some time to look at the menus. That, that's yeah. great. Thank you. Right, this, no is wa- this is water. You just put down two waters. This is, not, this is not a menu. Hey, I'm sorry. What? You didn't bring a menu yet. The no, menu not- is the sheet of paper. No, yeah, usually... All right, sir. Yes. Usually what I do is I'll bring water to the table, and then I'll bring menus. Did you not want the water? I, I know. I don't want the water. We already have two waters okay, each. I'll, t- I'll send someone over to take the waters and I'll go okay, get your menu. You take no, the- it's fine. You can't take the water? He's gone. So, <laughs> I have a... I thought look, this I was... Think, g- I think we're just going to have to order, okay? I, I, I don't think we're getting I don't getting even know menus. what they have here. Well, look, the moon's over my hammy. How do you know about I'm that? I'm sure they have like... Uh, <laughs> you said like you've never been never here. Never-ending pasta. Oh. Shrimp scampi. Yes, they must have shrimp scampi here at Dennis. Yeah, I th- you know, okay. things like that. So we will order, um, but we also, we're going to talk about the Creed song from Human Clay called Inside Us All. And that was written uh, by Scott Stapp about the episode of Step by Step about Carol and Frank's anniversary. Hey guys, um, so do you guys know what you want now? Oh my God. Can you, what is your name, sir? Chad. Chad, okay, and I'm... Sorry, I'm not it usually... It says it on his name tag. I know. This I'm, is that kind of restaurant. It's so yes. fancy that they assume that you're literate at this restaurant. Okay, um, I'm not usually rude to uh, people in the service industry. I sure. feel like I may we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. I, I just want to apologize for on behalf of Rob. No. No, uh, that's, no that's not and, necessary. And me. That's not necessary. Oh, okay. I don't... I think this... I, okay, so he's sitting down now. Um, Chad... We are, you probably noticed because you're talking directly into the microphone that Mm -hmm. we're doing a podcast here. Right. We don't need you to be on the show. Okay. Even though you've already sat, I see you've sat down and you've cracked open a beer, it seems. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know they served beer at Denny's. Did you bring that from home? I did. Okay. But I don't, so I'm confused. All right. So I don't. We are too. I'm not sure exactly what you're, you guys are thinking. And I, I appreciate the apology. I'm usually also not rude to customers. But I don't know if you guys noticed. If you look across the room, you see over on the other side of mm-hmm. the building, mm-hmm. see those guys with the microphones? 
they're also doing a podcast here. So this is something that happens often here. So I don't know if oh you... Oh my God, like I if, didn't even notice If that. you're saying that I'm supposed to be impressed, yeah. I'm not really because there's often podcasts that are done inside of I Denny's. I actually didn't even know. Oh is it Denny's like the Starbucks for podcasters? Yes. Is that, is that Joe Rogan over there? Oh my God, that is. Guys, don't. He doesn't and Hold like, on, hold on. Do you see what's on the right side? That's Adam Carolla. Oh my god! Yeah, but guys, guys, don't. What they? So I'm used. My point is that they come in here to do this. Everybody knows this. I'm not blown away by your podcast. I didn't know that. So, okay. What podcast is this? Oh, good question. Step by step. I assume you get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know it. Are you serious? Do you need this? us to leave? No. <laughs> I okay. So I'm gonna take a step back. Okay. We'll take a step back. Take a step back. Hey, I'll take a step back. I'm actually a big fan of the podcast. I can't. Really? Yeah. You're a big fan of Step by Step? Yeah. Wow. This is tremendous. I've actually never met a fan in person, so this is huge for me. Well, it's huge for me, and I actually feel like a real asshole right now because I was kind of giving you guys shit before. No. Hey, it's oh, fine. Oh, so now you are impressed. Well, now I'm impressed. Yeah. I <laughs> wow. didn't realize. That's funny because I was going to say, like, we have now the third most successful podcast in the room going on right now because Joe Rogan's over there, Corolla's over here, right? And we're no one. And I want to say there's a fourth one going on, and I'm pretty sure it's cereal and like fuck. Oh no, they're doing the new season of cereal so behind I, us. I, yeah, yeah. I still want to say we're the <laughs> third most popular. Oh uh, well, I don't. I wouldn't say third either. I mean, there's a bunch of podcasts going on in here. There's several, so I would say you guys are probably in terms just of popularity. Like I like niche mm-hmm. things, you know yeah. what I mean? So I'm a I'm I a big tell. fan. Yeah, thank you. You know, but. But okay, but no one else is maybe. I mean, yeah. you know, I don't like the other waiters might not care. Sure, I don't know. Well, yeah, most okay. of them are Mexican. Not that I don't know <laughs> if that means anything to you. No, yeah, it's really does, just does a country. It mean, does it mean something to you? I hear, I hear all of them are good people. I mean, you're, the, my, you're the one who said it. I mean, my, I'm just saying. Okay, we don't have to get into what you think about where people are from. Um, but we do have to actually take a break. But Chad, now that I know you're a fan, maybe you could. I know you have to do your job, your waiter job. Yeah, 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 yeah. But maybe, uh, ever, maybe you could stop by and t- uh, give some insight because I'm sure you like. Kn- you must know the show. After this, you oh, must yeah, know absolutely. what we're going to do next absolutely. on the show, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What What do you think we're going to uh, do after the break? This is the is it the grab bag segment? I actually have to go take care of Joe Rogan real quick. So okay. Oh, oh, you're serving oh. at table as well? Uh, yeah, every okay. table in here is mine. Oh, you're the only person the only working waiter, tonight? Yeah. Well, you heard well, him. All the others are Mexican. Ma- right. <laughs> they don't speak English, so they don't know. I'm really the only one who could take the orders. I mean, they're they're great at bussing the tables and doing the dishes and okay. stuff. Yes. And they can bring you chips. Actually, do you guys need waters? Because I'll ask them to bring out some we water. We don't need waters. No, it's I didn't fine. Know they brought chips. No, it's fine. Table. You guys are like my favorite podcast. So I'm going to have them bring Thank out you. some chips. Okay. I'm going to have them bring out some waters. I'm going to run. I'll go take care of Joe, and then I'll come right back to you guys, all right, and take your order. That right? sounds great. Right, Thank thanks. you. Okay. All right. So we'll be right back uh, here on Step by Step to your anniversary show with uh, Rob, Chris, and our new friend our, and fan, Chad the Waiter. Step by Step. Frank, huh? do you know what next week is? I sure do. Yeah. Yeah. Next week is a um, very memorable week. I mean, next week is... Uh, well, it's the week that uh, starts and uh, becomes our anniversary week, uh, the 22nd. It's our anniversary. Uh, yeah. Great, Frank. You forgot again. All right. So that was a clip from Step by Step, Season 3, Episode 7, I want to say. Uh, or 8. Who knows? It's called Hog Wild. <laughs> and, and you're wondering, what does Hog Wild have to do with their anniversary? Well, I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Uh, the anniversary is actually the B plot of this one. The the yeah. A plot of this one is uh, is Cody goes to get a bank loan to open up a shop to fix motorcycles. Motorcycle thing. And he yeah. gets the loan and then does decides he doesn't want to actually do that. He just wants to fix motorcycles for, for free. basically nothing in yeah. the back of his van. And the reason we're skipping over this so quickly is because, yes, it's called a hog wild. Yes, that's confusing if I don't give this context. But it has nothing to do with Scott Stapp's music. Right, so we pre-screened it, and we noticed that there was a large portion of the episode about motorcycles, but no mention of motorcycles. Hola, yeah. agua. Oh, no. Hi, um, hi. Okay. Um, Chad. Agua. Chad, buddy, I I know it's you. <laughs> Are you doing a a voice? Adios. He okay. changed his name tag. I don't know if he, you noticed. He that. did. It said Jose. Yeah. <laughs> and then he ran. He ran away. 
Do you think he's the only one working here? It could, it could be that he's the only one working here. I really hope he doesn't have multiple personalities because we just did something like that. But you never know. That could be something that's happening more no, now. I, I think... Well, you, oh, you think it's spreading? I don't... Hey, no, I don't know. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that was weird that Chad, the waiter, came over. I haven't seen anyone else here, by the way. So. I haven't either, yeah. And just Joe Rogan, of course, and Adam Carolla. Well, yeah, no, there's patrons. Yeah. Yeah, but I have not seen anyone else working here other than Chad. Right. Who seems very guys, busy. Is, hey, oh, sorry. Hey, you guys hey, know what you want now? Okay. Wait, so, did he bring out the chips? No, no. So, Chad, no one brought out chips, and and we st- actually still don't have menus. Oh, shit. All right. I'm going to go grab menus. Um, I'll get. I'll have them bring out the chips because I feel really bad. I said That's okay. Chad, wait, stick around no, for one fine. second. Let me... I, are you sure? Because I'll go oh, the menus right now. Yeah, of course. All right, I'll come right yeah, back. Yeah, no, go I... I oh. Yeah. I say, I ate before I came. Oh, you did? Yeah, I'm not even really that hungry. You're not? Nah. I, what? We planned a whole special dinner. Well, I... It's for the anniversary. I, you know, I and you the, ate? We're podcasting. I come for the conversation. I don't want to just be here stuffing my face the whole time. Oh. That's not good radio. Are you planning no, on actually I, eating? Yes, I was going to eat. I haven't eaten all day. All day? You just want to be so hungry for dinner? I stored up. What I did was last night I ate Chinese buffet to expand my stomach. Well, listen, we should probably start with a couple appetizers. <laughs> you had Chinese buffet last night to accept, what is this do you think it, was this gonna be like your Thanksgiving no but actually in high school I knew I had a friend in high school who would he was uh, into eating a lot like uh, competitively yeah and in order to really eat a lot and at the competition you had to expand your stomach so he would go to a Chinese buffet the night before that also will clear you out because you'll basically end up with every kind of foodborne illness you can find yes and I have been sick all day Hey guys, here are the menus. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey. Finally, so, the yeah. menus. No, I know. I'm sorry. So here are the menus. Thanks. Uh, flip through them. I'll give you guys a minute. Oh, that's great. Thank you. All right. Okay. Let's see. Well, so what do I want? We should. We have to talk about step by step. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm getting kind of hungry looking at the food now. Yeah. Oh, the pictures. I, can, of the I food. can go for like an appetizer or something. I could do. What about these? Uh, the finger blasting uh, chicken fingers. Hey guys, the finger blasted <laughs> chicken fingers. Yeah. Did you guys make a decision yet? I, we just we we just uh, we really just kind of open the menus. Oh we, sure, yeah, just we'll come back. Yeah, no, I'll come back. Yeah, I'll have the finger blasted uh, chicken fingers. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then we'll. we'll he, I assume he'll be back in like one second because that appears to be his thing. He's very eager to take our order, <laughs> he is. but it's not actually really do anything. No, so we'll start talking about the episode, and then I assume he'll come back in. Hey, guys. Okay. Oh, hey. All right. I'm, I'm ready to order. You ready to order? Yes. All right. Uh, the lady here will have the sure, chicken give it to me. blasted. Sorry? The lady over here will have the chicken blasted He thinks it's fingers. a funny joke to call me a lady, but that's like, you know, it's 2018. Right. There's, you know. I'm sure. See, no, just I get you're being funny, but I'm sure this guy's got a cock. <laughs> How are you sure? Can I touch it? No. Okay. All right. I mean, Chad, whatever. Chad, I... Again, what do you mean, all right, whatever? I don't... I mean, I'm just saying. I don't like being rude to waitstaff, but that's not appropriate to ask patrons if you could touch their cocks. No, I know, but he said you had a pussy, so I'm saying... No, he didn't. Right, look. He was making a little joke that may have been a little insensitive by calling me a lady, but then what you actually said was way more insensitive. And so, one, I can't even believe I have to say this to my waiter. No, you cannot touch my cock. Two, I don't have a pussy. And three, I will have the finger blasted chicken fingers. Finger blasted ones? What kind of sauce do you want on those? Oh, uh, what what uh, is there? There's an option: barbecue, mm-hmm. ranch, piss. Sorry, did you say ketchup? Oh no no no! Mustard. Wait, wait. There's honey mustard, spicy you mustard. Have a ketchup sauce? I'm, I know that's not the weirdest one you said, but that's the one that struck me the most. Yeah, it's it's a, it tastes like ketchup, but it's not exactly the same because it's like more saucy. It was right. kind of like a you- pasta sauce. Mixed with tomato sauce. <laughs> <laughs> a pasta sauce mixed with tomato sauce. Got it. But it's kind of like ketchup. Uh, so it's basically marinara. <laughs> I guess, yeah. But then, what did you hear the third one he said, Rob? Uh, honey mustard? No, I thought I, I thought I heard him say piss. I didn't hear that. Yeah, you didn't? No. And what, it, no. what were the ones again? Could you just re- go through them again real quick? Ketchup, mustard, spicy mustard. Did I say mayonnaise? I don't know if I said mayonnaise. No. Piss, ketchup, golden. <laughs> so there it was again. Brown. I heard piss again that time. I, You're still not the, hearing no, it? No, the third one was mayonnaise. Did yeah. you say piss, no. Chad? No. no? Mm. Okay. 
I, it could, I guess it is just me, but also mayonnaise. I'm sure it is. Mayonnaise sauce. Yeah, but mayonnaise is really good on the finger blasted chicken fingers. Is that what you recommend? I would recommend okay. it. Okay, yeah. I'll get that. Okay, so finger blasted, one order of finger blasted chicken fingers with mayonnaise. So I'm looking here. One thing that struck my eye. How do you feel about the baked stuffed mushrooms? Uh, they're actually... What are those? Those are disgusting. Are they? I wouldn't order them. No. No. All right, give me two orders of those. Okay. <laughs> what kind of sauce do you want on them? Uh, oh, God. Uh, can you list them again, please? We have... It's well, the same for, sauce for the mushrooms? No, for the mushrooms, oh. it's different. We have... um, There's like a, a ranch. Yeah. Hollandaise. Oh, I'll take the hollandaise. Do you want to hear the rest of them? I'd or are you just going to jump yeah, on the no, same fucking I, one I say? Whoa. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm trying to read the sauces. The fucking guy's all over, man. It's fine. You want the hollandaise? No, I don't want to hear the rest now. No, it's fine. I'll get the hollandaise. Right. So it was the finger blasted chicken fingers with mayonnaise. And then the, what was it? Spicy mushroom caps. <laughs> uh, it says the baked stuffed mushrooms uh, with with the hollandaise sauce. Okay. Um, and to drink? Oh, God. I don't even want it. Uh, water's fine. I have so much water in front All right, of me. All right, I'll have the guys bring out some more water for you. Okay, great. Um, I ordered an iced tea before. If I can get an iced tea with that, that'd be awesome. Sure, sure. Long Island, please. Absolutely. Rob, you're going to eat uh, <laughs> baked stuffed mushrooms and a hollandaise? <laughs> Look, man, it, you know what? It, it doesn't sound great, but I bet you the execution's perfect. They wouldn't sell it if it wasn't good. I, uh, it's a Denny's. Okay? I am, they have a reputation to uphold. I understand that, that they are America's diner. Yeah. So they can't, they can't be bad. And I love things that are America's. America's diner, America's football team, America's mm-hmm. flag. Chad got a little defensive and... He made a he made a very off color joke, and then I'm almost positive he said piss twice. I I did and not. I know that. you didn't hear it, but I really think he said it. And then he got he got a little snippy with you. He did because I I made a quick decision on my sauce, and honestly, I thought like that. I was taking. I, I heard something I liked. <laughs> yeah, you didn't like. He's been spending a lot of time at this table and very much neglecting Joe Rogan and Adam Carolla. And you know what? I do respect that because he did say that he liked us more. He did say That's he was a bigger true. fan. Yeah, I, I do appreciate that he's putting the energy in to make this a special night for us because it is our anniversary. It is. And speaking of anniversaries, it was Frank and Carol's on Step by Step, and we should talk about that now. Hola, Iced Tea. Oh, God, he has a different name tag on. Yeah, again. it does. It says, Adios. It's a Suarez. Well, th- 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 thank you for thank my you, yeah. Thank you, Suarez. Yeah. Adios. Okay, bye. Okay, so then we'll we'll just get to step by step. So, Frank and Carol's anniversary. They are celebrating, and last... Hey, guys, oh. really sorry. We're out of the uh, finger-blasted chicken fingers, and we're actually out of the baked mushroom caps as well. We have plenty of hollandaise sauce. If you want, I could bring a bowl over of that. Oh. Just to sort of tide you over, maybe with some chips. The chips would actually be great sure. because you've been talking about them, and now I actually am hungry for chips. Sure. What kind of chips are they, by the way? L- ruffles. Oh, great. Okay. That goes actually not terrible with the hollandaise. Are right. they like a ruffles cheddar or like finger blasted? Or I, what you know, are they? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look. I'll look. I'll ask the kitchen. Okay. And then yeah. I'll let you know. Or I could just have them bring them out. I don't just know. Just have them bring them out. I'll just, just have them bring them out. You know what? And a bowl of hollandaise would be awesome. I'll have them just bring out the bag. That way you'll know. Right, oh, the bag could, of ruffles. Yeah, yeah they're just in a bag, bag back there. Yeah, 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 that'd be great. So I'll have them bring the bag out. Bag okay. of ruffles, yeah. And, and a, a bowl, bowl, of, bowl of hollandaise. That sounds great. And then great. that was it, right? Well, I mean, we have to now look at the menu again. Because oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Take yeah. your time. Take your time. Okay. All right, I'll be back. Right, okay. All right. So Frank and Carol, it's their anniversary. They decide to uh, get each other some anniversary gifts. Mm-hmm. But they don't want to be big spenders, right? So they put a cap on it. And we all know how that goes. If you have a wife or a husband, you know how that goes. When they say no gifts, they mean someone's getting something, someone little. When someone says $25 limit, you know they're going to go over. Mm. So guess what happens in this episode? What? Oh, they uh, they put a limit on the amount that they're supposed to spend. And then they both keep hearing that the other person overspent the limit. So they keep trying yes. to one-up each other. Yeah, so they're getting each other gifts and they're adhering to the limit and then going a little over. And then the other one will be like, oh... Uh, he got me a sweater, and that cost $35, but I got him this. It's not good enough. Now I have to one-up him. Yep. It's a, it's it's really a game of one-upmanship. It really is. And they're going back and forth, and they're it, they're, they're forgetting the spirit of what an anniversary is. Uh, yeah, at the end, they... What happens? Oh, they, they're they actually fighting. Yeah, by the they end are. Because I thought they, they were can't... just going to do it. 
You thought they were gonna. They are fight Patrick until Buffy they had sex. Is, is, they're they're in the bedroom. They're both in their uh, they're both in their pajamas, and they are basically nose to nose yelling at each other. And I thought they were just gonna start making out. And no, instead Brendan comes in. Well, Brendan comes in, and Brendan really shows them what anniversaries are about because he made them a homemade gift that costs nothing. Nothing. Right? It was just a drawing that he made, a card, a homemade card from a little kid. Yes. Hey, guys. Yeah, interesting. Oh, hi. Any decision yet? Yes. Uh, I did. I did Give it to me. Glance. Okay. Give um, me the order. Uh, I don't know if you're out of this. It's it's called, it says Fatuccini. Mm-hmm. Is, can you tell me what that is first? Yeah. Because I, I, I'm sure. hungry. I, fettuccine I do like. Mm-hmm. Is it fettuccine? Sure. Oh. You did hesitate. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you acknowledging you hesitated? Mm-hmm. Because it's not fettuccine? I'm not sure. Do you want me to, I could ask the kitchen. Has anyone ever ordered it? Yes. And do you have it? I don't know. I'm going to have to check with the kitchen. Okay. If you want, I do know we have pancakes. If you guys want pancakes, I could bring out like a giant stack of pancakes. I wasn't really feeling I'm pancakes. Really coming to Denny's for pancakes. All right. No, who does that? No, that's. I fine. come here for so fettuccine. Fine Italian. Okay, so one fettuccine. You know, I'll just. I'll if, have a fettuccine. If, if we, you have the if fettuccine, we have it, I'll I'll just have them put it in. I was actually maybe hoping it was a typo, and it's actually fettuccine. No, no, it's fettuccine. It's fettuccine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. And Rob, um, I'm I'm between. I'm gonna ask for your advice. On sure. This one. I'm between uh, the chalupa mm-hmm. and the caviar al crostini. I've never seen a what was the first one? Chalupa? Yeah, <laughs> you've, never, you've never seen a chalupa. I've never seen a chalupa before. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I know it's does on the that, menu. Does that affect you being able to get it here? No, I could probably get it. But if he's asking for my opinion of which I should order, oh right, I would definitely go with um with the B. with the caviar al crostini. Yeah. Okay. The price difference on them is it's quite good broad. here. No, that's true. Because the chalupa is very expensive. expensive. Yeah. I know. The caviar seems way too cheap. It's yeah. three dollars. The chalupa is fifty-five bucks. I know. I Which mean, if you me that seems really like, good. Oh, right. right. But if you want it, I'll have them put it in. Yeah, uh, I'll take three. Okay. Wow. Really? Well, we're splitting the bill, right? No. no. Not oh. now. Definitely not now. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Why would I pay for you to have three chalupas oh, at you... fifty-five bucks a piece? <laughs> You know, you just go to dinner and then you just split the bill evenly at the end, you know? Yeah, and a lot of people get screwed that way, Rob. Well, the people who don't order the expensive stuff. Okay, fine. I'll have hey four guys, I'll I'm... have four chalupas. Okay, so add one chalupa to mine. Okay, so just three more for me. Seven total, please. Seven for you. Yes. And then I'd like to order three five, more, and then I'd also love to order nine. one. What is the most expensive thing on the menu? Oh, that's fine. Fourteen chalupas. Yep. And uh the most expensive thing on the menu uh, is actually... cakes Benedict, please. Sure. All right. Okay. I'll come right back with your food. I, I didn't care. How much was the crab cakes, Benedict? That oh, was the most expensive thing on the menu? That one is $67. Oh, okay. Per crab cake. And there's two of them. Oh, boy. We just ordered a lot of food. A lot of food. <laughs> and uh, I'll, this is going to be a big bill. Well, the other problem is, like, I was, you know, I was thinking we could dine and dash. Mm. But he knows us. Right. But we're kind of stuck here. Hey guys, we, we so post. hey, oh, hey. So the kitchen's working on your food. I know that, and cool. so I feel bad because I know you guys have been sitting here hungry. I see you never got the chips, so Correct. I just we had some extra pancakes in there, so I'm just bringing you guys a plate of pla- a plate of pancakes. Okay, thank you. So you guys, this is just on the house. Oh, right? pancakes on the house. So that means it's from me. Like mm-hmm. I, I got it. It's okay. free for you guys. It's free for us. Yeah. Oh, but you have to pay for it. I have to pay for it. Oh, it like comes out of your out of my paycheck. Yeah. Oh, I feel no, but bad. it's fine because I can tell you guys are hungry, and I know yeah. you guys were saying how much you like pancakes. So we weren't, but I'll take them. Yeah. I guess. All right. Out of curiosity, do you know what Joe Rogan's show is about right now? Like he's podcasting right now. He is right now. Yeah. Do you know what the episode is about? Do you want me to go find out? Yeah. I can ask of, him. Kind of. Yeah. No, that's fine. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna eat the pancakes. You know, appetizer, pancake <laughs> You're appetizer. You're going to eat the pancakes? I'm going to take them over to Joe. It's going to be my end to figure out what they want. Okay, I so think, we, don't, worth we don't get the pancakes. Well, if you want them, I could leave them, but then I'm probably not going to be able to find out what they're talking Can about. you just leave, like, so it's a b- pretty big stack of pancakes. Can you just leave us, like, two pancakes? Sure. Well, just undo your napkin. I'll put them on your napkin. Okay, okay. great. All right, so he's going to be back, and then we'll be back. We'll take a break right now because we definitely talked all about the episode of Step by Step. Hey, guys. Hey, oh. I don't know. He's talking about pussies. Okay. <laughs> Like like women's or just like weak men? Oh, I don't know. Can you go find out? Yeah, I'll go get Please clarify. clarify. Thank you. After the next break, we will talk about 
the Creed song Inside Us All, which is about the episode of Step by Step where they have their second anniversary. And it's also our second anniversary here on Step by Step recording live. Rob, Chris, and Chad, the waiter, and we'll be right back. Step by Step. Hey guys. Hey. Okay. So. Okay. So you kind of interrupted. Sorry, Chad. Crab cakes. Thanks. Well, one second. Alfredo. Chad, you were. We were just listening to the Creed. No, song. yeah, that's fine. So okay. here's the crab cakes. One crab cake. Two crab cakes. Okay. Then we got the chalupas. One chalupa. Two chalupas. Yep. Three chalupas. Four chalupas. Thank you. Five okay. You don't chalupas, have to count them all. Six Thank chalupas, you. Seven. And well, I, I want to make sure I, I have them all. I think there was. Can 14. I interrupt for one second? These are pancakes. What did you want? Chalupas. This is literally, you made a pancake taco. Yeah, I'm confused about what you guys ordered. You, he said he didn't know what a chalupa what was. What are you saying? But the chef should know. That's true. It's yes. fine. I can it's bring on it, the menu. I'll bring it back to the kitchen. It's not a big deal. Okay. Do you, should I leave the crab cakes? Yeah. Is there hollandaise and like an egg? That's, but you want that? The crab cake's Benedict. Yeah, but now you're saying you want an egg. I mean, Rob, I'll say this. One, that's a, that was a weird thing to order, the Crab Cakes Benedict. Yeah, it's a weird thing for anyone to order at any time after, you know, not brunch. I'll try it, and I mean, if it's... That appears to be a crab cake. It looks pretty good. Well, it's I fish know. sticks. Okay. It's fi- it's a fish stick? Yeah. In the shape of a... It's round. No, yeah. it's... A, yeah. No, you can tell it's like a few sticks kind of just lined oh, up. like they together. smushed. Smushed. Yeah. They smushed. This is Denny's. So the crab cakes are actually smushed fish sticks. Got it. Did you smush them yourself in the back? Well, the kitchen. The kitchen does. I, I smushed them in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, yo, you... Wait. You smushed them in the kitchen. With the, That's how the crab cakes are prepared. I'll leave everything here. Thanks. I'm going to send out the busboy with a hollandaise sauce. Great. Okay. That'd be great. Who's the busboy? Which one are you sending? I'm going to send Mario Lopez. He's here too? Well, is he podcasting? A, is no, he, he's he a, a busboy. The actor? Yeah, I think he just likes being here. Said it reminds him of the Peach Pit. <laughs> the Peach Pit? <laughs> Interesting. Because he wasn't even on. That's a, uh, that's a 90210 reference. Nobody's a fan of that show. Oh, okay. So, um, sure. Uh, you go get our food and Mario Lopez. Sure, and I'll be right back. Of course. All right, thanks, guys. Okay, bye. Well, so that was, by the way, before any of that, the Creed song, uh, Inside Us All. And that song was beautiful, but it was also written about this episode of Step by Step, where it's the anniversary. So here are the lyrics. <clears throat> hey, guys, here's the hollandaise. Oh, God. And I'm still waiting on clarification from the kitchen about where your egg is, because I did do a... I, quickly looked up on Google and I know there's supposed to be an egg uh, on uh, Thanks. crab so uh, they're gonna bring that out alright so I guess when you find out what happened right. to that egg yes that will come out and be on my plate I'll put it on the crabs and then I'm gonna find out I'll get clarification from the kitchen about what a chalup is supposed to be I'll see if we can whip 15 of those I, up for you know you. I don't <laughs> it was 14 how did we get one more on well, does it matter, matter. Rob doesn't matter I was going to give you an extra one because of the pancake. Oh, on the house? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I want any chalupas. Really, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. (laughs) Sounds like it is. It's their fuck up. It sounds like a really big deal to do anything here. 15 chalupas shouldn't be a big deal. You don't even know what a chalupa is. I know, but I'm going to find out. As the waiter, it you know it's not your job to actually know what the food is, but the kitchen should know the menu, right? And they should know how to make it. Yep. Is it is it possible? To just speak with the chef, just to try to understand what's what's going on here. It absolutely is. I'll go talk to him now. That'd be great. Sure. No, but I think you, I, Rob, I you want to talk yeah, to him. Yeah, I would like to talk oh. to the chef. If you yeah. wouldn't mind coming out and just, you know, just have a quick conversation I about uh, what's going on here with the food. I don't, I don't. Is that a bad idea? Yeah. Can I go back into the kitchen? No. I'll go in there. No. What's going on? What is the deal with the not chef? a big deal. <laughs> Sounds 
No, it's not a big deal. It's you're big deal. you're like being very nervous right now. No, no, it's fine. So the no. chef won't come out. No, probably not. I can't go in. No, but it's no big deal. Not a big deal. That's all I need to hear. Yes, yeah, uh, I'm a little. Mm-mm. You're a little skeptical. It, no, it makes me no, want to don't find out what's Mm-mm. going on with this chef. No, that's fine. I'll talk to chef. I'll talk to chef. You talk to chef, then report. Chef, <laughs> you talk to, to chef, then report to you. Okay. What's the chef's name? I, un, it's unclear. And he's walked away. Well, this is quite the operation going on here at <laughs> yeah, this uh, national, nationally managed chain restaurant. I just, I just was thinking of something. What's that? Do you remember coming here? I mean, you said, "Hey, we're going to Denny's." Yes, because I saw a commercial, right, about how they were America's diner. Yep, and something about eggs. And I was like, "Let's go there for our anniversary." And you know the sign outside does say it says Denny's. I don't but remember. The light's not on. I don't remember driving here. Did you drive? Were you we know, in your? Now that you say it, I don't. In the prison in the geo prison. Hey guys, chef said sorry. Told me to send his sorries to you. So okay. I'm giving you his sorries, and he's Thank on you. the egg situation. He's looking for it back there, and he's gonna have chalupas for he, us. He can just make me a new one. He doesn't have to find the it's one. It's fine. That- He'll find it. He can find it. He's got very good eyes. He's trying to find the one he made before that he lost. Yeah. But the egg? Yeah, but he's got very good eyes and vision, so I'm sure I'm sure he'll find it. I'm not sure I want it. You think he maybe dropped it or well, something? Well, it's, we don't know yet, but once we find it, we'll know what happened to it, right? Presumably. Yeah, if you could just let me know what happened to sure. it. Sure. I don't even need it. I'd just love to know what happened. Well, he's on the case. I'm very curious. He's on the case. He's on the case. <laughs> Z, okay. Was he, was he willing to come out? Abs- no. I am very, very uh, what unsettled now. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, we, we don't remember how we got here, and none of the food seems to be anything like what it's just so far. I, all I have be seen, all I've seen is water, pancakes, and smushed fish sticks. Found the egg. I found you did. the egg. Here you go. Here's okay. Your egg. Oh, it is, oh, this is a bad shape. This egg. <laughs> yeah, there is quite a bit of hair on there. Yeah. Can I ask where it was? Do you want me to get you a new one? Well. This is a hard-boiled egg with a... I could, like, see a footprint on it. Well, it was in my pocket. <laughs> okay. What? How does that explain the footprint? Well, I stepped on it because I didn't want to admit it was in my pocket. <laughs> but then you did. Oh, the footprint was camouflage. For the pocket, yeah. Like, I stepped on it after I found it. So I didn't want you guys to know that I put it in my pocket. Can we just get the check? Is that possible? I don't know. I could talk with the kitchen. I'll see. Yeah, you, you have to what? ask the you kitchen know? permission to give a check? You don't I mean, just ask, like, listen to the patrons when they say, "Can I, we have the check?" I mean, you guys ordered fifteen chalupas. That's like seven hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, shit! Do you not want to stay for dessert? Uh, I gotta hear the dessert menu. Do you have a dessert menu? Sure, I'll go grab it. I'll come right back. <laughs> All right, let's just do the song. Oh my god, we haven't even done the song. Let's do the song. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, um, when I'm all alone and no one else is there, waiting by the phone to remind me I'm still here. When shadows paint ba- scenes. Where spotlights used to fall, and I'm left wondering, is it really worth it all? So that's the line. That's the key line there. Is, is it, it really is, worth is it, it all? Really is worth marriage it all? really worth it all? Uh, In yes. the very beginning, Carol starts to get very upset with him. Mm-hmm. Is, the, is, wedding, is marriage just a joke for you when he proposes just $5 joke gifts? And then as they go, they're, wonder, they're figuring out... Hey guys, here's the, the dessert oh, menu. Oh, God. Here's the dessert. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So Thanks. take your time. You know what, Chad? Stick around. We're talking about the song. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know the po- you know our podcast. You're a Absolutely big fan. Absolutely big fan. Yeah. So um, why don't you weigh in on this? Sure. We're talking about the Creed. You're a big fan of Creed, I assume. Creed song, Inside Us All? Yeah. You know that song. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're reading the lyrics, and we're talking about how it's about the episode of Step by Step. Oh, did I cut you guys off when you were doing the... Yeah, a little bit. I'm but that's sorry. okay. I, I want your take on it. Okay. So we're talking about... It's obviously we're talking about the episode where... It's Frank and Carol's anniversary, yeah, and it, and now we're relating the Creed song uh, "Inside Us All." Right. So I'm working solely from memory, so sure. forgive me because okay. I'm not. I'm a fan of the podcast. I'm yeah. not the biggest Creed fan. That's fine. I'm a huge fan of Step by Step. Okay, but That's Creed, fine. not yeah, so no. much. We're kind of the opposite around here, but it works. <laughs> yep. No, yeah, it works fine. So, so the lyrics, I don't, you know, I'm not positive on. They don't have to be perfect, right? Okay. I remember a verse that's life i think it's like life can hold you down when you aren't looking up can you hear the sounds or something of hearts 
beating out loud. And to me, uh, that was actually exactly the lyrics. Well, that's surprising. That's pretty good for someone who's not a Creed fan. Right, I'm not a Creed fan. <laughs> to remember the second verse from this song from the end of the Human Clay album. Yeah, and I haven't. Pretty good. I haven't heard it in a long time, but I feel like that verse sort of sums up Tommy and Carol's marriage. You're so close, Frank. That was good. That was pretty good. Tom, Tommy is not a character, but Frank. Frank is uh, Patrick Duffy. Right. Yeah. Just remember, he's a big Step by Step fan, but not a huge Creed fan. <laughs> right. Yeah, you did say that. Yeah. But you don't know the <laughs> character's name. Well, it's Tommy's married to Carol. And no, I, got the, I already said it's Frank. I got but the dogs or whatever. No, there's no dogs in the show. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm thinking of then. Oh, you know, know what I'm thinking of? I think it's a shaggy dog. Do you ever see that? The with, shaggy with dog? Dick Van Dyke? Tim Allen was the Shaggy Dog. Tim Allen did a remake for sure. I didn't see that one. Okay, was there? I think there was an original movie though. Little Dick Van Patten. Dick Van Patten was the Shaggy Dog, and that's what you're thinking of. You thought that was step by step? It's not even close. That's the one where he becomes a dog. Yeah. Okay. No, this is not that. But surprisingly so i guess i'm confused about what the podcast is okay so you've been very confused you listen to every episode you said of a podcast about uh. <laughs> excuse me i listen to every episode of a podcast about dick van Patten. oh which i thought that you guys so you haven't listened maybe to our show at all you thought this so you thought that our show was about Dick Van Patten. Yeah, I thought you guys, I thought you were Craig and Craig, and this was the Dick Van Patten show. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. This is, but is there, do they talk about step by step on their show and Creed? Because you seem to be very familiar with that aspect of it. They do, yeah. They do? <laughs> Rob, we have competition. It sounds like a sub podcast within their podcast, though, kind of like we do blank check. Oh, maybe it is. That's very strange. One, it's strange. I thought we had maybe the weirdest podcast <laughs> concept, <laughs> but a show hosted by two Craigs <laughs> just talking about Dick Van Patten <laughs> is maybe the weirdest. <laughs> yeah, well, he did say he was a big fan of niche podcasts, and I don't know if anything can get more niche than I, I don't know what to make of any of this. Um, what we have, did we wrap this up? Our anniversary I dessert. Show? Oh, right. Oh, did he drop the menus? No, um, yeah, I brought the menus. Okay. Yeah. And did we read the menu? I, I, I did. I, I did. I'm so behind and I don't know. I'm so confused because I can't, like I said, I can't remember how we got okay. here. All right. The, the and, lady and here will have the uh, souffle. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. And I, I have a question. Sure. The cannoli. Mm -hmm. Is it one big cannoli? As opposed to like multiple small cannolis? Yeah, like is it, it, it says you that it's of. three small cannolis, but is it like, is it one big cannoli? No, yeah, it's one big one. Oh, oh it is. Right. Oh, it is. It is. Even though it says three small cannolis. I mean, it's three small ones. Oh, oh you're humoring yeah. it. Got it. Um, so down with that. I yeah. do that all the time on the show. I, yes. I don't believe him. Oh, you can hear us. Chalupa yeah. and I got pancakes. Oh, right. So you, what are you expecting to get when you order this <laughs> giant cannoli? Honestly, if I'm lucky, a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and you notice that that was $79, right? Well, yeah. It's the okay. most expensive dessert item on the menu. Yes. <laughs> so just one giant cannoli and... I have not ordered anything yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But are we still splitting the bill? I mean, we both ordered seven chalupas each, so yeah. All right, I'll have five cannolis. <laughs> All right, put another three on mine. All right. Two more for me, please. Can I have a couple of Zambuca? Sure. And any Italian ice? Oh. Oh, six of those. Okay. I hesitate to ask, but what flavors? <laughs> There's strawberry, sriracha, Ooh. mayonnaise, mm -hmm. mayonnaise. <laughs> cherry banana piss, and uh, <laughs> apple. Okay. He said, Rob... Did you not hear piss that time? Cherry, banana, bliss, and apple. Oh, cherry, banana, bliss. Is that what you said? Cherry, banana, piss, and apple. Cherry, banana, piss. Cherry, banana, bliss, and apple. Okay. Am I offending you by how much I'm talking about piss? I mean, it's strange to me. Yes. I really thought you said it. I'm going to listen back to this because we're recording the whole thing because it's a podcast. 
I'm going to listen back and I'll, Rob, I'll play it for you later. He's it's, I am hearing so clear in my headphones. So that's fine. We'll avoid that part and I'll just bring out some Sriracha Italian ice. Oh God, I guess. What was the, I, well, the first one was strawberry, right? Yeah. I, I would prefer that over that over Sriracha and mayonnaise and possibly one that has piss in it. Okay. And then still though, with the cannolis, giant cannolis. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. And did you want to just go giant? Or you want to go extra giant? That's an option. Well, here, yeah. Not everywhere. Not every Denny's? Not every Denny's. The big can only is $79, and now we're already talking about Giants, which I'm assuming is more. And now we're talking extra Giant. What's that going to run me? It's only 82 oh. So it actually makes oh. sense. Yeah, it it does. Does. but how much bigger is it? Three feet. That is one big cannoli. It's three, like one of those Giant sandwiches from Quiznos that you get for like the Super Bowl? Yeah, well, because the Giant cannoli is a foot. Yeah. This is three feet bigger, so it's four feet. It's like a party sub. So this is, th- wow, the Giant cannoli is a foot, and this is four feet, and there's three of them in each order? <laughs> I'm so confused <laughs> about this restaurant. I still love the ambiance. And we are dining and ditching, right? Because it doesn't matter what we do. Well, yeah. Like, he thinks our names are Craig. That's right. <laughs> You know what? Seven more of those cannolis, please. You got it. And so, just to be clear, your yes. math was correct. So okay. Each cannoli is four foot by two feet. You get three per order. And you've ordered, like, I don't know. I can't remember exactly. I don't how many, either. But I think you know it, was a, it was around nine. It was nine orders. So, nine times three, mm-hmm. whatever that math is. 27. Ooh. Yeah. Sure. So, we'll call it 26. Why? <laughs> Why would we do that? Just to round it off. Okay. So we'll call it. (laughs) No, that checks out. (laughs) By the way, where are we? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But did we finish talking about this episode? I think so. And the song? I think so. And relating them? Yes. Okay. So then that would conclude the show. (laughs) If that's the case, right? Yeah. Typically, that's how we end the show. Um, And But, you know, I see that Adam Carolla and Joe Rogan are still... Oh, wait a minute. They appear to have left is cereal still behind me no oh in fact i believe we're the only people here right now oh geez so um yeah we'll end the show and uh we'll just eat our cannolis whenever they get here yeah hey guys hi I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt the cannolis they'll be out in one minute i apologize for the delay we're wrapping up the show okay so uh you want to just say you have anything to plug before we go sure i guess so well i'm I, well, this weekend, it's funny that you asked. This weekend, mm-hmm. actually, I'm sitting third chair for the Boston Philharmonic. Okay. So I'm excited about that. Third chair for what? For the Boston Philharmonic. Is that an <laughs> instrument? Like, what instrument? Yeah. Well, for the. It's very impressive. It, Are you playing, playing the chair? I'm, yeah. Well, the third chair. You're playing, like, wait. Wait, wait are you wait, just wait, giving wait, me a squatting wait. position and someone you will sit, sit on you? <laughs> Oh wait. Well, so hold on. Are you are you are you acting as a chair for someone playing an instrument and yes. they're sitting on you or I'm okay. the third I'm going to be the third chair. I can't believe I okay. need to explain this to you. I'm going to be the third chair. Yep. And the man who plays the oboe will be sitting on me. Is everyone sitting on a person instead of a chair in the no. Boston Philharmonic? Just three no, of us. Just three just, just three chairs. But that's really my only plug that and I guess I you know I do have a diary I keep you want to plug the diary well I mean I write it yeah what kinds of stuff you're writing in there if you if you don't want to divulge that's fine no it's fine I write about like spaceships and stuff like that can I ask you cool. uh, after tonight's experience what's what's the entry for tonight oh I'll probably write about spaceships oh, okay <laughs> so regardless of what happens to you during the day you're well, writing yeah about I like spaceships. to keep it about because it's my diary and you know of mean? course so yeah Okay. Well, thanks, Chad. Um, yeah. You going to grab those cannolis then? Yeah, I'll bring them. They'll be out in a minute. Awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. I love you guys. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Um, Rob. We don't know how we got here. We don't know how we got here. He writes in his personal diary every day about spaceships. I'm starting to think those are completely unrelated. I think they are, maybe. But there's only one way to find out, and that is to end the show and walk out the front door of Denny's and just, um, I would imagine that your car is outside, right? And not the vast void of outer space. 
Boy, I hope so. And if my car is outside there in the vast void of outer space. Well, I'm assuming it's, it's in a parking lot and that we would not open the door and be in the vast void of outer space. I'd hope not. Yeah. That, that's see, the risk I'm willing to take. It would be ridiculous. That'd be ridiculous. And it would make me believe like nothing. It would make me believe, honestly, that maybe this show has jumped a shark. If that's how we're going to end this, <laughs> where we open the door, there's like some kind of space sounds or something to indicate that we're We're basically just a doctor who episode yeah exactly so it there's no way it's that no it's ridiculous because how could this show ever get to that point of just no going to space nonsense (laughs) yeah so well we should sign off so on behalf of the podcast thanks for listening by the way for the last two years everyone who stuck around we love all of you so thank you all for listening and uh, we will be back in two weeks with another episode to kick off year three Rob, happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you, Chris. Thank you so much. And uh, we just want to say on behalf of everyone, uh, can't stop. Won't stop. Guys, I'm sorry that we're out of cannolis. I am not surprised. Would you mind getting the door so that we can walk out to our cars? Sure. I always ask a waiter to open the door for me. No problem. All right, thanks. Here you go. Okay, thanks. Bye. Ha, ha, ha. I finally got them. I, Lord Hulu, for reasons I can't quite remember, have been out to get revenge on Robert and Christopher since episodes 41 and 42. Maybe I should have listened back to those for more context. Oh well. Now I have tricked them into thinking they were at Denny's, America's diner, while trapping them in the vast void of outer space otherwise known as the streaming video on demand service. Hulu. Can Robert and Christopher escape in time for the next episode in two weeks? Tune in to find out. But probably, yeah. Later, bitches. Step by step.